Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we've got something uh, pretty exciting for Chopped Ink. Uh, finally got space here in Montana to work on. Uh, it's a pretty big shop. I think it's a uh, 40 by 50. And we've got some outdoor space and, and whatnot. So it's a pretty nice gig. We'll do a little walk around later, but uh, thanks for watching and supporting. And uh, this is gonna be the next project. It's another V6 to V8 truck. But it's four wheel drive and it's a stick, so that'll be you know pretty exciting. So stay tuned for that. And we've got a few other projects. Hopefully, I can come to you guys a bit more frequently now. I'll have a, a space I can come to uh, every day, and I think I'm going to do you know some fix and flips. So be some fix and flips, a couple of maybe long term projects, and this one's probably just going to be a you know a bit of fix and flip. It's a I've got another suburban. You know, I like my Suburban, I'm going to pull a 5.3 out, it's got a V6 in it. So we're just going to plonk it in. And it's going to be pretty quick, they're all pretty quick, these V6 ones. So that's going to, not going to take too long. Uh, I'm unsure if I'm going to scuff it and paint it, but you know, we'll, we'll get to that together, I guess. So uh, stay tuned, let's have a look around. Okay, uh, those of you playing along at home that are considering doing this swap, take the front ends, pretty easy taking it off. As you've seen, just a you know, few bolts, a few clips, a couple of hiding under here to take this uh, support off. And there's two hiding behind here. But uh, if you take them off down there and there, you can lift this hole I'll piece up with it and that'll be out of your way so this part is pretty easy I mean hopefully you can get one that's not totally foobarred uh, bumper when it's twisted and beat up like this is kind of hard to take off uh, you got some couple bolts down there down here this one's gonna be hard to get to because it's all pushed back but uh, it'll come off okay so we got to the front off and then uh, you know, we'll start, we'll take the air box and intake off and start with, you know, some of the hoses and probably the radiator. And then we'll need to take off uh, the fuse panel box and the harness. This is the harness that feeds the engine and transmission. Uh, it's just bolted uh, seven mil on the underside there. So we'll just need to undo those and then the harness will come down. Then we'll be able to throw the harness over top and then uh, depending on whether you pull the trans or not i think i'm just going to leave the transmission in because i don't really need it transmission is no good in this particular vehicle uh under the transmission or under the back and then slide it completely out because you'll have all this room and you'll be able to just yank it out so we're going to do that but i think i'm going to kind of 
double dip. I'm going to kind of get them both to the same process at the same time. I clear all this front and then I clear all the front off that one, put it in my little rack and then uh, keep which one's going to be the best out of the two when I put the one truck back together. So the engine in this V6 4.3 runs fine, runs pretty good, uh, you know, no power 4.3 for a full size, you know, half ton truck. It's just doesn't have the v8 fun factor with the stick uh, inside's not too bad it does need a little clean up has the extra man pedal so i'm just gonna get after it and just come along any questions uh just leave a comment but as i said in the last video it's it's pretty straightforward v6 to v8 uh, chevy made it very modular when they were building them from the factory. So, let's get after it. Woo! One other thing I will suggest is uh, this little plastic cover that captures that little beauty that goes over the top here. Uh, go ahead and take that off and then take off the uh, map sensor as well because sometimes when you're bouncing around you can hit it and you can break it and then you've got to buy a new one. So it's easy to just take it off now and then you don't have to uh, break it and buy a new one. So that's a helpful trick tip if you like. All right, this is where we're going to leave it for today. Uh, I've got the front all torn apart, everything. Boo, boo, boo. Uh, I need some buckets or some trays to catch the water. I neglected to bring that, but this one's done as well. So, getting closer. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. Uh, get some drip trays, then we're going to pull the uh, motors out. So, that should be next. So, thanks for watching. Uh, anybody curious, this is Wombat. You know, like the Australian animal, Wombat, that's what we named him. He's kind of grey and he runs around like an idiot, like a Wombat. So, he's pretty good. He's not pretty old, he's got Frenchie. So, you'll see him. Obviously, saw so in the videos, he's pretty helpful. Uh, just wants to be with me, on top of me, just hanging around. So, you'll see him in more videos, but uh, stay tuned. We're going to try to do, you know, a at least a couple of videos a week, uh, small ones, like little update progress. So if you like that format, leave me a thumbs up. And if you're mildly entertained, also leave me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.